Back like we never left, BDA man. Shout out to Anime Fan Talk, man. He made a discussion video about Sanji and has he been a disappointment in the new world. Now, he did make some valid points in the video, and I will link the video below. It's a great video. I'm just gonna make a response video as far as what I think about Sanji. Sanji is part of the Monster Trio. I don't, honestly, right now, I'm not sure if he still is. I think his card got taken away. In the new world, Let's just remove Fishman Island from the equation because that was just them showing how much they've improved, right? Sanji and Zoro, the separation between those two is not that much. They should be pretty close. It may be Zoro by a little bit, but logically looking at it, it's, it's, it's really close as far as Zoro and Sanji. From what we've seen, Zoro and Luffy have long passed Sanji. Like, looking at Sanji's feats, since the new world has started. Discounting Fishman Island, I believe he, uh, Anime Fan Talk mentioned um, saving Kinemon and fighting Doflamingo. The Doflamingo fight, I don't know if you can call that a fight. He stopped Doflamingo or he attempted to stop Doflamingo because he was about to die. He literally like stopped Doflamingo for what, two seconds? Sanji's part of the Monster Trio and for this guy, if Usopp had jumped in versus Doflamingo. Now, Usopp's not a disappointment. Frankie, not a disappointment. Brooke, not a disappointment. But part of the Monster Trio? Luffy has definitely done great things. Yes, Sanji is kind of the third guy. He normally fights the third strongest. And I do admit that Virgo should have been his spotlight. But the fact that Virgo was able to crack Sanji's foot, he did get more hits in though. But the fact that Virgo was able to do that, it was like, what? That's, that's Sanji's strength. What are you talking about? He cracked his foot. I think from what we've seen of Sanji, this whole new world, and the whole fact that his training, even his training was disappointing. Like he was, bro, what? Sanji, man, one of my favorite characters. I, I just love Sanji, man. But. From what we've seen from Sanji, yo, I, I just can't rock with it. Sanji's been a major disappointment. And hopefully, like you said, man, that the next upcoming arcs are focusing on Sanji and his development. Because right now, as far as the whole crew, maybe Sanji has been most disappointing. Like, for the whole crew, because of what we expected. We don't, we don't expect much from the others, because they're kind of the... They play their roles, but Sanji is one of the strongest fighters on this crew and I expect him to live up to the part. Sanji has been a disappointment. I'm, I'm sorry, it, it, it's just, he's just been a disappointment. Like, what can you say Sanji has done that, had, that has impressed you in the new world? We have tons of feats for Zoro, tons of feats for Luffy. We even have feats for Usopp. Like, Usopp even has a higher bounty than him now. Like, how is that not disappointing? And the fact that he hasn't had a lot of on-screen time, yes, maybe Oda is setting it up for you know him to shine in the next couple chapters which, which i expect but as far as disappointment um just on a base level as a character and what we expect no question bro sanji has definitely been a disappointment check out anime fan talk video let me know what you thought about his points and you know with the points i brought to the table i just think that sanji right now from what we expect from part of the monster trio if he's still in there like i said his card may have been revoked he's been a major disappointment but yeah um like the video if you did again check out anime fan talks video good video man and comment let me know what you thought uh like and don't forget to subscribe have a good day people